In a male-dominated world, she's a trailblazer in her own right. Born in England, at age six, she moved with her parents, brother and sister, to Johannesburg, South Africa. At age seven, she started riding, and today, Lisa Prestwood is one of South Africa's most accomplished jockeys. I've always had a love for animals, and especially horses. Uh, when I started show jumping, I always wanted to be a jockey, and show jumped for many, many years. When I was at the age of 15, I applied to go to Sommerfeld, the academy there. They turned me down because I was female. Turned away by the South African Jockey Academy in 1985, because she is a woman, undaunted, Lisa began working as an assistant trainer, all the time continuing with her show jumping. As assistant trainer, she was at least getting to ride, albeit track work. Working for Terence Darcy, Mike DeCock and Spike Lorena, after four years at age 19, Lisa established what was to become a significant long-term relationship with the Buddy Maroon Yard. That same year she went to Switzerland to show jump. In Switzerland she became aware that in New Zealand, as a woman, she could get an apprentice jockey license. I got an apprentice license there and I left for New Zealand in 95, I think it was. And I was an apprentice there, I worked in the stable, I was a groom, eventually I got to ride in some trials and then I was granted the apprentice license to start race riding. On the 11th of December 1996, Lisa had been an apprentice in New Zealand for only four months when she rode a horse called Yo Su to victory in the Auckland Cup. A few months later, Lisa won her second graded race in New Zealand on Jefferson Starship. It only got better, and on the 3rd of August 1997, back in South Africa at Gosforth Park, Lisa Prestwood had her day. Still an apprentice on loan from New Zealand to the Buddy Maroon Stable, in her first ever appearance at the racetrack in South Africa, she showed exactly what she is capable of, just given the opportunity. She had three rides. On pumpkin pie, Elisa was beaten a short head into second place. On Jordoba and Fob's favorite, there was no stopping her. Jordoba and Lisa Presswood running too strongly for this field. And it's gonna be number six, Jordoba and Lisa Presswood. And it's gonna be number 10, Fob's favorite, another one for Lisa Presswood. In both these races, Lisa rode her way into the winner's enclosure. I had three rides on my first race meeting here. One horse was called Pumpkin Pie, which I got beat to short head. And the other two horses were Jordoba and Fob's favorite, which I won on. So on that date was two winners and a short head second, which was super. Fortuitously, Lisa had made her mark and applied to have her apprenticeship transferred from New Zealand to South Africa. I applied then to transfer my dentures to South Africa with Buddy Maroon being such a strong stable, um, New Zealand were more than happy to do that with the opportunity, which they did do. I rode here for a year and a half as an apprentice, then I qualified. Summer felt did open, I think, um, oh, I don't know how many years ago, but there are women in it now. You know, but like I say, it is tough for the girls. You know, you've got to go there at the age of 15, you're away from home. I think it's very different for a young girl to grow up out of a mum and dad environment. And you know, it's tough, it's not easy. I think in South Africa, you know, they've had sort of a very closed mindset about it. Um, I don't think it does boil down to strength in a race. It's also a lot of horse sense. Um, I see it, it's a lot more open now and people are recognising that, that women can ride horses as well as men. You know, I see Danny McCree's done very well this season. She rides quite a few winners in Kimberley and she's also doing very well here now. So, you know, I'm sure with, you know, more women coming through and we keep, you know, flying the flag high, I'm sure it will get easier for us. Throughout her career, Lisa has learned from her peers and is not shy to give credit where due. I've always admired Lester Piggott. <laughs> you know, obviously he's retired now, but I've always liked reading his books. And in this country, I think you can always learn something off every rider. You know, Pierre Stratum, he's got a great sense of pace. He's very balanced. But then you look at someone like Rhys van Veek, his weight's always been against him, but he's a very strong rider and he's also a very, very good horseman. You know, you watch these guys in the pens and, you know, the horse is getting a little bit difficult. Reese is the first one to sort his horse out and, and teach it. You know, then lots of the other guys, it it's varies, you know. I watch every rider ride. Like you can learn off anyone. If you're not prepared to learn, you're not going to go forward in your career. I think when I first started riding, the, the first achievement was to get my apprentice license and then was obviously to qualify and do as well as possible. 
when, when I came back here, you know, it was easier. I had a very good stable I was riding for. I had my mum and dad backing me 100%. And you know, you've got the family environment, you know, so when you get down and things aren't going well, you know, you've got family around, which does help. You know, things that sort of come to mind, you know, the horses Buddy put me on to start with, because no one would actually put me on a horse with being female. And he'd put me on really good horses, namely Joe Dober, Fob's favourite, All Will Be Well. I mean, I was obviously the first woman to win the CT brand in South Africa. I was the first woman to win a grade one, and two weeks later I won another grade one on a horse called Alma Tech. <laughs> Very much a family person, Lisa cherishes as much as any other victory those special moments in racing that have involved her mum and dad. I think it was probably winning the first race of my mum and dad's horse, a horse called Joshua Tree. Lisa Prestwood's got Joshua Tree to roll and Joshua Tree by a couple from Avenue. Um, it was super, you know, it was in their colours and fortunately my dad had to work that day and I wouldn't let my mum drive to Turfentine by herself so they weren't there to lead me in. But you know, there's all very special moments. I think winning any race, be it a maiden or a grade one, it means just as much. But this is for my mum. Okay. She knows what it means. Okay. Well, Lisa, we'll let you weigh in and uh, you've got a big ride coming up and we just wish you the best. 2003 has been a great year for Lisa. In February, she won the Tommy Hotspur Grade 3 at Newmarket on Allen Attack. Of all her achievements, her win, again on Allen Attack, in the Merchant's Handicap on Champions Day, was particularly special making her the first woman jockey in South Africa to win a grade one race. Elna Tech, a great horse! Yes, it was on Champions Day. I had a ride in the Merchants on Elma Tech, and it was fantastic that day. You know, you always dream of winning a big race, and also on Champions Day, it was super. In recognition of her achievements, Lisa was honored with a special award at this year's Highfelt Feature Season Awards evening. In her career, Lisa has ridden her fair share of great horses. You know, you get quite attached to a lot of the horses, especially when you ride them on a regular occasion. Probably my most favourite horse to date is Almatak because I have done very well on him. He was also quite a difficult horse. He was sent from Durban to Johannesburg to Buddy to be trained. He was intractable. So we had to sort out the pens with him. And he's learned that, you know, and got to enjoy his racing. I think that's why he's done so well. On the same evening that Lisa received special recognition, so too did her favourite Steve. It was a great moment for all associated with Al Natak when he too received a special award as Older Sprinter of the Year. It was very special that night and one of the nicest times was when Al Natak won the Older Sprinter of the Year. You know, the whole team went up on stage and received the trophy. It was super, you know, as a team, team effort. Moving on, Lisa now rides successfully for an increasing number of different trainers. You know, and then people did sort of sit up and start recognising me as a, as a jockey. And, you know, obviously now I've, I've been riding for James Goodman for over a year. And, you know, you sort of pick up a couple of rides and I've had quite a long-term relationship also with Jan Breit and I've ride quite a bit for George Tambulis. I've been picking up a couple of rides for Naidu. And um, lately I've been riding a little bit for Sinjin Gray. And, you know, it just works out how things go. You know, I've had four rides, three seconds and a winner for him. So you just hope you can pick up more rides for people like that. All in. And away they go from that 1,200 metre marker. It's Fabulous Zach that picked it up on the inside. Fabulous Zach, she's gone through to the far side. Lady Carolotti with a white gap trying to come out. Hurricane Queen in the black and white. But Fabulous Zach, she comes through to win another big one. And Fabulous Zach races out here, wins by two and a half lengths to Hurricane Queen. Riding the crest of the wave, Lisa took the Grade 3 Feature Magnolia Handicap on Fabulous Act at Newmarket last Tuesday evening. Very much at the top of her game, what is it that Lisa would like to achieve over this current season? Well, last season went very well. I rode 29 winners. I earned quite a lot in stakes. So you always try and better your goals. This season, it's gone very, very well. Um, so I'd say ride as many winners as possible. I would like to ride over 29 winners, so make it 10 more and, and take it from there. Her eyes firmly on the prize, Lisa Prestwood goes from strength to strength and we wish her every success as she sets herself new challenges and strives to better her goals for this season.